in this video i am going to discuss about difference between conus medullaris and cord equina lesions coming to anatomy first the spinal cord ends at the level of lower border of l1 and there is a tapering end of spinal cord which is formed by s3 s4 s5 and co1 spinal segments which lies in front of l1 is called as conus medullaris there is formation of bunch of roots uh, it which consist of 10 root pairs from l2 to co1 which forms cord equina looks like a horse tail epiconus is nothing but l4 l5 s1 and s2 and the periconus is nothing but epiconus plus conus now coming to clinical differences between conus medullaris and cord equina the pain in conus medullaris is less common and less severe in case of cord equina it is prominent severe and radicular in type the location of pain in conus medullaris is bilateral and symmetric and is present in perineum or thighs in case of cord equina it is unilateral or asymmetric and is present in perineum thighs legs or back the sensory deficit in conus medullaris is in saddle distribution it is bilateral bilateral and usually symmetric and there is dissociation of sensations but in case of cord equina it is saddle but unilateral and asymmetric saddle and there is no dissociation of sensations the motor loss in case of conus medullaris is symmetric but not marked and fasciculations may be present because of anterior horn cell involvement but in case of cord equina it is asymmetric more marked and atrophy may occur usually there are no fasciculations the reflex loss may be is uh, restricted to ankle reflex in case of conus but in corda the reflex loss may be may involve knee and ankle reflexes the bladder and rectal symptoms are early and marked in case of conus but they are late and less marked in case of corda the trophic changes are more common in case of conus and they are less common in corda the sexual function is affected more in case of conus and less commonly affected and less marked impairment in cord lesions the onset is usually sudden and bilateral in case of conus but it is gradual and unilateral usually in case of cord equina lesions